right, we are back with a create a 5M framework. This time we're going to be, this might be a little multi-part. Uh, we're going to be porting our clothing script one more time. And we are porting this from uh, QB Core, I believe. Uh, I, it was made for QB, at least. Um, so, yeah, first thing we want to look, we want to just make sure we have uh, basically our... I don't know if we set it. So we have set MP here. So we're going to look for a couple of things. We're going to do QB and just see what we can do here. So get player data. Obviously, this is going to be wrong. Um, this is our player data. So we're just sort of seeing a few things here. So we got trigger callback. So we're going to go into our base first so obviously we have trigger server callback it's not going to be trigger callback um so we're going to basically control d and it's going to select all these and we're going to trigger the server callback of that um for outfits we're just going to comment this out i don't really give a shit about uh, people changing PEDs, really. Uh, so we're going to do QB. So we have a couple of QB cores, which is drawing text. Um, in here. Um, and they're using polyzones. So how we're going to end up porting this, we're just going to connect real quick. Um, we're not going to use this right away. We're going to create a command and... Uh, then when we get our poly zones all in, then we will do uh, such things. So we trigger event for client, loading, trigger server callback, loads the outfits, opens the menu. So this is what we're gonna wanna call for opening our menu here. Um, so just do a register command of menu open there let's menu o uh, doo -doo -doo. just like this and 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 what we're gonna do is then trigger event trigger this and I believe we got a character or clothing um we'll just pass that through though for now and go to anything else later um so a couple things in here obviously we already changed this in our first porting video so we gotta you gotta change this to whatever it is named and ours is just named clothing so cool there oh i hear me in game so i'll select my character real quick And, well, you might hear a little background of this, but not a huge deal. We'll just sit here for right now and take a look. So we're selecting from player outfits here, which I believe is in here. Uh, citizen ID and citizen ID. Yes. Okay. So in here, we're going to be opening our ZAMP. Go to admin. Hopefully this opens correct, it does, cool. Uh, in here, we're gonna type, go into this SQL and basically paste it all in. Um, now, to, to, in here, we're doing a couple of things because our player.player .player ID uh, is a little off here. Um, I want to say Let me just go into here and we could do a couple more things here. So our get player function, which is this. So our get players equal uh, comes back with mp.players and we get our, where is it at? Where is it at? Player, mp.player right here. And then we would get our, we do this. 
we can get this. So let me go back into our server. And do, do, do. so this one uses Getty MySQL as well. So delete from player outfits where citizen ID equals question mark. Okay. So this is where we're getting this. So it's passing this being the first thing. So this would be player dot data dot citizen ID, just like that. And basically, let's gonna go back here and let's copy and paste all these in just like that. And let's see. All right, so we're gonna start it and see what happens. So ensure, what was it called, clothing? Uh, okay, so we get a script error. Uh, and that's because our poly zones and then our create callback on main 73. So was that server? Yes, it was. So server main 73 right here. Um, we actually don't use that in ours. We'd use a, Ooh, I want to say it's trigger, right? I want to say it's trigger server callback. Yes. So it is trigger server callback. So we're going to copy uh, control D, see if there's any more, which there wasn't. So then we're going to save it, uh, reinsure. And now we only have this for box zone, which is client main 477. So we're going to go in here, uh, go up to 477. 77, right here. So I want to say. Uh, if it was this, blah, 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 blah. Exports. Okay. So what we're gonna do is comment out this and see what happens. So ensure clothing. Uh, and we just failed to load a script here, which is perfectly fine. Um, I believe if we open up our maps, yeah. So if we open up maps, we can see the, all the clothing and stuff uh, right now. And eventually we'll make a toggle for uh, blips that we want. But I believe if we do open, what, what was it, men, men, menu O? So is that what we got? Menu O. Uh, field metadata. Just open here as well. We don't get that anymore, so that is perfectly fine. And it said, what was the error? Um, 821, 821. All right, so we're gonna go to that. And it was because of this. Oh, I see. Uh-uh-uh. Let me see if we could just trigger this instead. So redo this menu O field metadata on 820, 820, 820, 820 allowed menu. Okay. So get player data. And we're getting meta. I don't care about a tracker right now. Um, is this our correct to get player data though? So we're gonna have to go back in here. I'm just gonna type data in here and see if we could spot anything. Uh, MP.player data. So our player data is MP functions. Let's go into here. And, oh. MP functions get player data just like this. So we're gonna copy this, just make sure that is all good. And all right. That is fine. 
I'm going to reset it. And there we go. So we got in the menu, just like this. The menu, um, I believe we got to change to our, or change pads or something. How do we do this? Okay, so uh, air character info on main 1612. So main 1612, we're going to go down all the way to that and see what's up. So 1612 uh, right here. So it's basically calling for gender. Uh, fuck that. Am I right or am I right? Um, we don't really care. I'm going to be honest. I just don't, I don't care. I think this is a, sort of a useless thing because there's, hear me out, hear me out. There are some peds that do not have mask or any other information. So it's very easy just to switch that up and be like, oh yeah, I'm wearing like a fucking costume, you know? And for that reason, I think taking this and locking them into a certain type of skin is actually uh, just completely useless. Um, so that was really the error. So now we can do this again. Reopen the menu and let's see what we got. See if any any errors popping up here. Um, model doesn't seem to like model, but all well, the cameras seem to work here. Model is still not really setting here though. Oh, I see. I see what it's doing. Er, mm. So, the model we would have to set first onto onto this. But everything else, because this would change facial features right here. But because we're not getting this model, uh, we can't really change any of this. But as you guys can see, changing your shirt and uh, everything else, if you have textures, you guys can see right here, all that stuff works. See what we got, anything else. And we could save the outfit, confirm, see what else we got here. So we could change, we could add a mask, add a hat, or in this case, um, how do we rotate? A and D, we could hold that perfect. And then we have our eye color that we could change, freckles and so on and we can save the outfit let's name it outfit one for an example and confirm so just double check in here see how it saves okay so we got a script there for result on clothing main 46 this is going to be the probably the last thing uh yeah probably the last thing we look at here uh, because I don't want this video to go too long. Uh, so main 46. We're going to take a look at it. If it seems uh, more complicated, uh, we're going to take a different look. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So local result equals exports. Ready? Uh, select star from player ID equals citizen ID. And I have a feeling... Well, we are getting citizen ID there. Local result equals, we are getting the correct citizen ID, so we're just not getting the result here. If result here, do, do, do. just double check this air real quick. So local result, it just doesn't like 46, exactly online 46, if result. Should be right, but we are going to have to go back anyways and do some zoning. So I don't want to take up too much time. I don't want this video to go too long. Uh, the big thing is, and I, I, I'll show you since we're right uh, right here anyways. Well, we got clothing to technically be in here. There's obviously some changes that we're going to have to do. Um, but we'll go in here for now and just show you that... Uh, Obviously, there's no, like, zone or anything. So, we just got these blip icons. 
for right now until we get our polyzones in and create polyzones for uh, this whole area as well as all the other areas outside. But that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a comment. Leave a comment down if you can. If you have any questions, hop in the Discord. Honestly, I'd rather have you guys leave comments at this point. But thank you for watching. The next one is going to be most likely um, finishing up this one, possibly. Or it's going to be uh, finishing up some of the admin menu and some of the logs that we need to uh, fix up might just be a, a little quick fix up, fix up going into this and then going into a state of the framework showing everything off and so on. I believe we still have the test command. Yes, cock and balls. That's what we like to see, but thank you guys for watching.